I've working for the sanitation department for the last 17 years. Actually working outside every day, you, you, you see everything. <laughs> oh, my partner, George, I'll tell you, if you ever met the nicest person in the entire world, great father, you know, um, he's, he's, he's dedicated to his family 100%, and um, he's a great guy at the job. Robert is a very caring guy. He'll give you the shirt off his back if he had to. He def definitely commands the room when, when he walks in. On a daily basis, we pretty much argue on who's gonna buy breakfast. I can tell you, me and, me and George, we, we know our routes. As he moves to the left, I'm moving to the right. You know, I move to the left, he moves to the right. We're like a, a phenomenal team. I first saw the fire along the route. We were finishing the backstop on 68th Street. We just looked up and we saw smoke and coming out of the window. And then we hear the lady screaming, help. And it's just, you know, when she was, ah! I'm like, forget about it. It was just piercing, a piercing help scream. Like as soon as I heard the scream, I like, I like jumped right off the truck and I ran across the street as I'm doing that. George is like right next to me. And at the same time, we saw a lady running down the stairs with a child half naked. At me. So we just looked, ran to the woman and said, what was the problem? The lady's like, my mother's upstairs. And um, George was in the building. First guy in the building. The second I got to the top of the stairs, it was dark. So I just went in maybe about six to eight feet and I just heard screaming. And when I heard screaming, I, I just put my arms out. She grabbed me. And when she grabbed me, I just walked backwards to where I came in. Oh my goodness, it was completely dark. I thought like a movie, you would see like 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 little places burn in as no, <laughs> completely black. As fast as we went in there and got that lady out, whether there was a smell, whether there were flames, I, I can't even tell. But I know I got up there, grabbed the lady's arm, George had George had the, the left arm, I had the right, and um we got it down. She was a little heavy. So we were just trying to just make sure we get one step at a time. When um, we came back out. We actually waited and um, the fire the fire department came. I, I took the, um, the child to the ambulance and Robert gave money to the family for breakfast so they can uh, wash their clothes. After doing all that, you know, we had, to, we had to go back and finish our route. We didn't think of it as being like heroic. It was like, oh good, we got everything done. So let's just finish. And um, if more people would take just a, a little bit of their time either to donate or help, go to a shelter, whatever that they would do. I think the world in somewhat would be a better place.